welcome to Amadeus, Mr. Massimo Mikkonen. Thank you. Never been Mr. here before. Mr. Vince, no, I've never been here before. <laughs> How are you doing? I know I, I called you a little bit short notice. I only gave you one day notice. Yeah, I was... Or is that more than plenty? I was in the middle of a drinking session back home. Been binging for a week now, so doing drugs and drinking and, you know, the, the usual. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, you did all the hard work already, so now it's... Now Actually, it's... I faked. I, I did nothing. I just I just claimed I did everything myself. I paid for a lot of good musicians to do all the work. And you know. singers. Exactly. So now I'm getting all the attention and, you know, those guys were very cheap, so <laughs> it's coming together. Did... Did you pay? According to my plan. Did you pay with potatoes or uh, peanuts? No, That's sex. Sex? Sex, right. yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It, it started off well. Yeah, I know. I know. So, you got a new album coming out. I can't say if it's coming out this week or next week, because I'm not exactly sure when we're going to put this out. But it's coming out any minute now. Yeah, March uh, 27 in Finland and April the 10th outside Finland. And you got uh, all the places covered, or is it just Europe coming out? Or I have no idea. I've seen the list, but I, I can't. I can't say which places. I also uh, read online you commented personally that uh, you will also come and hand deliver if somebody orders straight from you. Yeah, you but I lied. You know, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I would never do that now. No, actually, I would, because. Uh, once the record comes out, I think I'm gonna have a box, box full of CDs back home, so I can I can send you a copy if you like. Is it gonna be like um, I talk to some musicians and nowadays it's sort of back to uh, back to like an old school mentality of you have the box in your bag and you're just uh, walking down the street and somebody and they, hey buy a CD. So are you gonna just, go back to that also? I'll just hand out a coupon. You know, you can sign in, fill it, fill in, fill in your name and address and email, and that's how it works. Awesome. I don't bother to carry the CDs around <laughs> my back. Well, they're heavy. I got yeah, that. Rather heavy, yeah. At one, yeah. one point, I was thinking of just um, having like a. If I have my laptop with you and you just come with your USB drive and I, I'll download it for you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Easy enough. Who needs those yeah. huge discs anyway? Uh, Spotify link. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so write it on a piece of paper. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Uh, the thing about this album is that um, as you've claimed, even though we know it's a lie now, yeah. uh, you claim you've done everything yourself, yeah. and it, it's taken you a while. Yeah. And can you sort of uh, take us back to uh, even before you started making it? Let's go back to when you were doing the album before this. Hell or high water. Yeah. And, and what what was the kind of feeling um, after the promotion of that, after the touring, and when things sort of um, settled down, like, okay, yeah. that's now over, and what am I going to do now? You know what, we were going nowhere, and out of that frustration, I, I, I just I just didn't want to go on, and I basically wanted to pull the plug on the whole band thing at the moment, at, at the time, and... Uh, at the same time, I started hearing new music in my head, which is a lot of my mentality. I, I'm a psycho, you know. Started hearing voices, you know. You know. Anyway, and uh, I started hearing new rhythms and uh, new kinds of stuff. Although I've always come up with uh, different, different styles, musical styles that I was never able to record because uh, I think bands are always restricted in a way you know the, the bass player plays the way he does and the drummer got his own style and etc etc so there are certain things or or uh, you know musical styles you can't like make work with that with the lineup you're in. You get stuck in a rut. Exactly. Yeah. So 
And beside besides that, I think the only uh, the only way to actually make this record was to make it on my own. Since uh, imagine me booking a studio for like two months straight because I wanted to make an album. I didn't want to make a just one or two tracks. I wanted to make a full length album, and uh, that would have cost a lot of money since I'm I have to play everything myself and I can't play live in, yeah, a, in the yeah. studio environment. I would so. love to see you try. I mean, yeah. That would be, yeah. maybe that's the next album, that you the play next everything album. you know, at one time. Yeah, who knows, yeah. But it, it started out of sort of frustration and feeling that it's going to end unless I act upon it yeah. and do something on my own. I remember talking with you like, Numerous occasions. Usually, it was always in the fall, yeah. uh, and when, when and I had the same thing, and it was like this, um, almost like depression mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. what, uh, what's the point of, uh, like, why are we even doing this? I don't know. But then I see you like two yeah. weeks later, and then you sort of figure it out again. What is the point? And the yeah. point is, yeah. uh, well, well, what is the point? Why? What? What made you decide? Well, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna learn all these new techniques and, and produce my own records. So like I find that there's no point to live unless you do something that you love doing. I don't mean I want to kill myself if, if, if this record doesn't make it or anything like that, but I mean you should always listen to your heart and never give up. Never give up hope. Because that's all you, all you have, and times are changing all the time. Nothing is for for good, you know. Nothing, every, everything, everything will pass. Even bad times. Yeah. Usually, bad times are followed by good times. Yeah. I mean, that's why you gotta keep keep the faith, so to speak. I mean, by definition, you can't have bad times without good times. Exactly. Other times, yeah. you just. Have, then you would just have times. So yeah, like. yeah, right. So, so now, now the record is done, and as I said, you you did pretty much all the work yourself, and you had to learn uh, all about uh, recording and mixing. Yeah, yeah. And, and how did you go about? It? I know you didn't really go to any school or anything. Yeah. I started out um, recording demos on my laptop using the. Uh, internal microphone, you know, not any external microphones or anything. I just played with it and uh, suddenly I found myself very fascinated, fascinated about recording sound. So I started, Fascinated and fascinated. Yeah, yeah. Both. Yeah. So I started um, looking a lot of videos on YouTube, reading books and going... I went, uh, I went into a studio and watched studio engineers do what they do and how they do it. And by trial and error, I, I recorded a lot. I recorded my own stuff and friends' and stuff. And you know, I got a lot of tapes. Well, not tapes, but digital stuff. So that's how I learned. And it took me a couple of years to to uh, get the confidence to press the red, red button eventually. And and then it took me a couple of years to figure it all out, you yeah. know, as as problems occurred along the way. And, you know, there was a couple of times when I was ready to pull the plug on the whole thing because I, I just, you know, working alone, it's a bit of everything. It's, it's, it's rewarding and it's, Sometimes you hit the fucking bottom because things don't work out the way you want it to work out, and you got no one to bounce ideas off. So you get sometimes you get very frustrated. And uh, but then I always somehow I don't know how, but somehow I just I got it done right. finally. Yeah. Now now the record is well almost out. Yeah. It's, um, you print it, printed it out. You've done the covers, yeah. and, and you, you had local talent doing um, 
the covers for you and there's an interesting story I don't want to go into it if you don't want to but I heard um, about the cover picture and love the idea and love the execution yeah the, uh, uh, the theme of the album is uh, muse muses and uh, the way I see it the muse you're always sort of trying to trying to find and uh, capture is comes from within you know it's always you the inspiration the source of inspiration is always you yourself and I wanted to I, I had the idea I want to put, put a um, female figure on the cover you know a muse figure and uh, let's just say that uh, it's it's a compromise <laughs> I love uh, the com like if, yeah, if that's yeah. a compromise, what a compromise. Yeah. I, yeah. I've got the muse on the cover. Yeah. Oh, and it's a great looking cover and yeah, yeah, as I said you had good a looking chick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a, I yeah. mean I wish I was with her right now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if uh, only you knew. You, you had um you had a local artist doing it? Yeah, Teemu Koskenoja, who's uh, done a lot of record covers, including uh, uh, Cheek, including uh, Petri Nygård, Finnish acts, and Fleck Mati, but he's a great talent, and I wanted to use a local artist to, to make a great looking cover, so I ended up well, I asked Tim, and uh, he was, by a chance, he was visiting Finland. He lived, at, at the time, he lived in uh, Malta, so so he was working there, so he was here during the uh, the uh, Christmas ho Christmas holidays, and he got a little time to to do it, so it turned out great, and it's, it's the best looking album design that uh, I've ever had, including the block hit times. Yeah, uh, if, if we look back, um, comparing sort of where you are now and, yeah. and um, sort of where you came from with, uh, especially Blood Pit, let's yeah. put the uh, other solo stuff. But what is you? I wouldn't say you. You seem like a different person. I mean, you're the same guy, but yeah. you almost seem like a different artist. And there How's is that? um, but well, uh, I mean. The music, music has yeah, changed. Yeah, the yeah. music has. I, yeah, I don't mean the person yeah, like yeah. who is who is uh, portraying it, and maybe the life setup is very. Yeah, I'm still similar. doing a lot of drugs yeah. and drinking. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, but if if you just listen to um, here's a Blood Pit album, and here is yeah. maybe your uh, new album. I mean, it's. I mean, of course, because you're not 20 anymore. Yeah. And I'm 21 now. Yeah, I, you're yeah. supposed to hear that. Yeah. Uh, but. If you look at yourself as that plot bit guy yeah. versus now, and especially on the music side, what has sort of um, taken you to where you are now, looking at where you started from? Um, and really just musically, if, yeah. you, if you leave the, um, what, what kind of person you are out of it. When we started playing Mathau Mikoyan gigs in 2008, I had to cover all the guitar parts and guitar work on stage on my own. So it took a lot of practicing and uh, as time went on, I sort of learned a few tricks and I became more technical about guitar playing. And I started making demos on my own, which I never did with Bloodpit. So I, when I was growing up, I used to play a lot of drums and bass and make demos on my own. So when, we, but then with Blood Pit, that never happened. We we would do stuff as a as a band. Okay. So when I was on my own, I started experimenting with with a lot of a lot of stuff musically and and listening to different types of bands and the most important I got in uh, I got back the the habit of playing drums and bass pretty much all the time so that sort of took back took me back to where all the rhythm comes from when I'm when I consider myself as a 
much more uh, a rhythm of a rhythm liker, yeah. you know. And, yeah, and, and I for like me, rhythm. For me, I mean, maybe maybe if you take mania for life out yeah. of it, uh, I think there is some there's a certain callback to a um, how should I say it? simpler time in your uh, vision of how you see music, and yeah. it's more uh, back to basics. It's more. I mean, not in a bad way, but in a good way, lo-fi. Yeah. And maybe Blood Pit was more about... Um, High tech. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I think you've sort of embraced this kind of um, very, very old school. I'm an, I'm an old soul. I like everything that was done. Well, not everything, but everything I like was done a long time yeah. ago. I mean, you still like indoor plumbing. Exactly. Yeah. I, I love it. Indoor plumbing. <laughs> and, you know... You know, old. You know, they they didn't have gadgets like this. No, you know, uh, so. Yeah, I should be writing this down. Yeah, I'm should still gonna have to write this down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Use a pen. I, I will, sir. I will try and use a pen yeah. next time. Yeah. Hey, um, album's coming out, and everybody should go get it, right? I agree. And any chance we're gonna see you on tour? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Call this guy in. You know? Call this guy, yeah. <laughs> get get him on stage. <laughs> yeah, we are working on uh, on finding a booking agency. So that's uh I wanna get this done properly.